Hello everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I am Erin and I am documenting my journey to financial independence and complete debt freedom through a variety of ways. Today is my savings challenges day. So going to be stuffing money into some of the savings challenges that I am doing for September. I am also really, 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 really uh, excited to also announce not only my October savings challenge, um, which is both a money challenge and then also a self-care challenge, but then also launching my awareness campaign. And I'll cover that in about the middle of the video for those of you that don't like staying to the end, but um, I do appreciate if you will stick around for that and hopefully take part. So we'll go ahead and get set up here. Um, I've got some coffee because it has just been it has been busy. I have launched my Etsy shop and it is just going, yeah, a lot, um, <laughs> a lot, a lot more than I, than I thought it would. Um, if I'm, if I'm being honest, it's definitely keeping me on my toes, but a lot of, it's, it's actually a lot of fun as well. Um, yeah, helping to provide the items that some people are looking at using for their budgeting journey or their savings journey. I've done a lot of savings challenge envelopes. Yeah, it's been really nice um, there. I'll just set that out to the side. And yeah, for me, that is a really big coffee. So if I'm all over the place and just like hammy from over the hedge, um, that's why, because it's a lot of caffeine. I hope all of you are doing extremely well also wherever, um, yeah, wherever you are, whatever time of the week you are, you are in as well. So I'm going to start with grabbing my $5 notes and I of course did not have those prepared because well, yeah, why would I? Um, yeah, brain, not not working entirely well. So just grabbing some of that, grabbing some of that here and knocking things over of a course. So I have some of my different fives. These are my tens that I didn't. So these are my fives and then my tens for the pirate booty challenge, which we will get to. And again, my $5 challenge, I just, anytime I come across a $5 note and that comes back to me and change, I set it off to the side. I sometimes forget what side I put it off to. And that is what gets stuffed. I don't count it at the end of the year. So at the beginning of December, I will grab all of my different envelopes and everybody can be surprised right along with me. This is a really simple challenge to do. You can do this with $5 bills. You can do this with $1. I've seen people do it with 10s, with 20s. Some people do it with 50s where they set aside 150 per week. Whatever whatever works for you and works in your budget, it might be that I have seen a budget mom, I believe it was a budget mom. Yeah, budget mom challenge where just at the end of one week you go through and you just you call all of the $1 or $5 out of your cash envelopes if you have that flexibility to do that. So you're taking it from money that is already been budgeted aside, you're not trying to find something new. So really a relatively, I think, easy challenge to put in. It might be that you just try to save one $5 per week as well. Any amount that you can put aside. I am doing a 26 week challenge and for that I am using my catacorns. I didn't do my savings challenge last week. I didn't do my stuffing last week. I, last week I was just, I was, I was, a, I was a mess last week. I was just really, running around like a chicken with my head cut off, um, which is actually a really bad phrase to use because if you've ever seen that, um, it actually does happen. If you've ever spent time on a farm or watched any documentaries, not that I, I don't recommend Googling it unless you're actually interested in it and definitely don't do it near dinner time. Just a public service announcement <laughs> there. But I had intended on doing um, 55 and 55. I do still 
Do I, st I do still have one $60 left, but I will get that one taken care of. And I used a regular pen, not the super squeaky pen. So um, uh, Brianna Life Involves, nails on a chalkboard, not that sound. So 50, 5, 50, and 5. Going into this one, there's so many different types of challenges out there. People often ask, where should I, where should I start? How do I fit it in? I don't make enough, etc. And I've always said, don't, um, you know, don't compare. Do what works for you. Do what fits in your budget. Do what you are comfortable with. And if saving challenges aren't your thing, don't do them. Don't try to make yourself do something that is not fun or motivating or inspiring to you just because other people are doing it. Um, getting a lot of money into savings is not everybody's priority. Just like paying off a debt is not everyone's priority. Different, when you're at different stages, different things are what are on your radar. For me, our priority for the longest time was debt. We didn't really put anything extra into savings challenges. We wanted the debt paid off and that is where we focused all of our attention. And now that that is gone, other than the mortgage, I'm not going to attack the mortgage in the same way. Again, just because we're okay. I don't mind having manageable debt and having a mortgage is manageable debt. It doesn't feel constraining. It doesn't feel as if I have a noose around my neck or anything like that. So you, you know, you do you. Um, Cyber Monday. So the day after, so the Monday after, um, after Thanksgiving, so Black Friday is on Friday, Cyber Monday is on the Monday, and it is known for online shopping because I missed last week, so I put $25 in each one. It is also sometimes referred to as Blue Monday, uh, which not as frequently called that anymore, but the reason why it was called Blue Monday is because Back when Cyber Monday started, the hyperlinks, people can now embed them a bit better, but the hyperlinks, if you've ever noticed, usually when you put them in, it changes the font from black to blue, and that indicates that it's a hyperlink, and because of that, that is how it got also called Blue Monday. I think that the person was maybe just a fan of the cure, so showing my age a bit there, but two weeks worth going into Cyber Monday to do some online shopping, and <laughs> with the way I've been doing my online shopping, that will be pretty much sending my money to um, <laughs> Tech <laughs> Tech Wrap Australia. Uh, absolutely. So for my business, I get um, the majority of my vinyl from um, is Tech Wrap, and so there is a I don't know if it would be called a franchisee or an independent owner, independent operator. Anyways, she's a small business and it happens to be in my area, so I'm able to do a pickup. Hi, Ness, if you're watching, love your love your product, love you. Um, and it's right, so I'm able to support small. It's, it's like a small, providing stuff for a small, and it's, it's just a big support fest, but um, lots of good deals and such that come on. And remember, something is only a good deal if you were planning to buy it in the first place. If you weren't planning on buying it, not really that great of a deal. And then Boxing Day. So what did I decide to do for Boxing Day? I'm taking care of my large numbers. That's right. So $40 for Boxing Day. So Boxing Day here is, you know, really day after Christmas sales. Um, I suppose that's one big day. Stock take sales is another big one. So at end of financial year or end of quarters, Usually your businesses go through and they do their entire stock take. So it's like an inventory. So counting up their inventory, what they have. So 2040 and then 2035. And they tend to put things on sale, um, you know, from that because the more you get off the books, the easier all of your financial paperwork is what you have to turn in for your quarterly taxes or half yearly taxes or anything like that. But so day after Christmas sales, Boxing Day, whatever you want to call it. And then I have my Pirate Booty. Well, it's not my Pirate Booty Challenge. It's Marlene's Pirate Booty Challenge, but it's, you know, I just like being able to say booty, booty, booty. And so this, what I have been doing is 
days where I make my coffee at home as compared to going out and buying a jumbo triple shot iced latte at uh, Rafa's. Then I put that money aside. So a coffee here in Australia will usually run you anywhere from about maybe, you know, 480 to about eight and a half dollars. So I just put $10 away. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Uh, so, you know, almost a week's worth of days that I did not go and get coffee. And yeah, I have been drinking that much. I haven't been keeping track of which day, but so it's kind of, it's kind of like a combination of a, <clears throat> of a no spend, a no spend slash saving, but no spend on something very specific, even though I'm not really a fan of no spends because even if you don't spend money on one day, you actually tend to spend that same amount, if not more, the next time you go shopping. So it, it kind of becomes, you know, it kind of becomes a wash and I haven't filled in. So this is her September challenge and this is where I want to take a quick intercommercialization. I don't know, um, of what I'm going to be doing for October. And I had mentioned not last week, but the week before that I wanted you all to try to put aside like, uh, you know, $350, $4 so that you could take part in this in this as well. So um, many of you are familiar with my story that I am battling um, end-stage liver disease. Mine is based off of a genetic condition called alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Say that three times fast if you want to. I'll be providing a lot more information around that. And October is actually Liver Disease Awareness Month. So I wanted to do something that brought attention to, um, but to, you know, liver disease, the importance of health, the importance of looking after yourself. I was extremely lucky in that I had an early diagnosis. Women are usually not diagnosed until, uh, you know, with alpha one, particularly in end stage until they are in their fifties or sixties. Men tend to be diagnosed earlier in their 40s. So I was diagnosed in my, my mid 40s, very, very, very early stages, allowed to do a lot of intervention. Um, it's not going to stop anything, but it, it does help to make things easier. And so what I have come up with for October, like I said, it's a combination and I have labeled it health is wealth. And right now it is the health is wealth October 31 day self care challenge because there's 31 days in October. I know October also has Halloween and there's fun stuff like fangs and vampires and, uh, you know, tombstones and all kinds of fun stuff that goes along with it. Um, those are all associated with death and guess what? Diseases bring death. Hey, so I guess there's kind of a correlation there if we want, or at least an association, but this is a combination and you can do one or you can do both. So this is, I think 350 Australian. Um, on my on my website and, and on my Etsy shop linked down below and I have a specific reason for the price um, and I'll explain that in a bit but basically for each day that you take part in something that is self-care that can be just five minutes of silence five minutes of meditation reading journaling reading your Bible um, I you know I love getting massages going to the beach journaling just sitting and lighting a candle. So these are sleeping in, you know, sleeping in, it's always nice. Listening to some music. Um, so these are just kind of all different things that really represent something to me for various reasons. And, I, and I'm not gonna go through and explain each and every single one of the icons. And so for every day that you do that, you just, you know, color in what you have done. And the goal is, is to try to fill in as many of these as possible for throughout the month. If you want to take part in a savings challenge, then I've made it a $50 savings challenge because there's um, there's actually five Fridays that are in October. So if you wanna make it for four, then just you know skip the relaxed one. I guess I could have labeled it differently, but hey. Um, you know, and again, you color, you know, color it in, paint it in. I've seen uh, Chris over at um, Chris Budgets and um, Chris Prince, she, she's been painting. I'm not nowhere near that coordinated, but again, you fill in one for each week that you put aside $10. You can put aside more, you can put aside less. I did $10 because $50 is enough for a self-care day. And that could be that you go and you get a manicure or you get a massage or 
If you want to make an appointment just for a general well-being checkup with your doctor, which you should be trying to do, $50 will usually cover a copay. You know, any number of things. And then there is also a printable um, envelope that comes along with it. And again, I have the green rhythm ribbon because emerald green is for um, liver cancer, which is associated for the most part with liver disease as well. There's actually a whole lot of different ribbon colors in so self-care, health is wealth. It's all about just taking care of yourself because this is the most important thing. Trust me, it's the most important thing in your life. That, that you can do and the usual instructions that go with that. So this is on my website and what I am doing is, so um, all of the revenue from this after after Etsy fees, which are ridiculous and after um, withholding for taxes, because yes, Etsy in Australia can either be labeled as a hobby or as a business and I don't know which way it will go. So I'm taxed at a higher percentage, I'm taxed at 37%. So I automatically have to take 37% out for taxes. Fun. Um, and then the fees. And so after all of the fees and everything, it should leave about $2 Australian that will go to um, either Liver Disease Awareness Australia or Liver Foundation Organization United States. And I'll split it between the two. So everything that is made from that will go. My Everything that I do for my October savings is also going to go to charity as well. So this is an opportunity for you to make a charitable contribution in an in indirect way and then also partake in a challenge where you are taking care of yourself uh, and then also where you are saving some money. Um, and so those are some of the things that I'm doing. I would love as many people um, as possible to take part in this. Uh, you know, if I can raise a couple hundred dollars, you know, $200, $300, I would be really, really happy because I will pretty much be matching that dollar per dollar. Link is in the description below. If you are in Australia, then one of the other things that I have made, um, and this was from talking with a friend of mine, um, so, uh, you know, a few friends. So is it then also awareness ribbon envelopes as well. And so it has all of the different ribbons, um, which if you know the colors, you know what they stand for and everything. Um, and I've said, you know, to people that if there's anything that you would like me to talk about to bring attention to, I will. And so I'm starting to put a list together and doing some research on them. I will throughout all of October be bringing attention to those. So those are available in my Etsy shop, a range to choose from all of them. Each one does come with a tracker. It actually comes with two trackers. So one just on white paper and then one on vellum because I'm just obsessed with the vellum. I have made the uh, Health is Wealth as a, uh, a double-sided tracker. I just need to get that listed up. And I've been tinkering around with vellum on that one as well, but because it's on both sides, it's kind of see-through. And I did make a clear one, and when I made the double-sided one that was clear, I was just like, Erin, you idiot, what were you thinking? Anywho, so charitable contributions, um, again, to something that is just, it, it's not just, you know, near and dear to my heart. It's my, it is my, you know, it is my life. And that's where I'll be focusing on October. I know we're still a bit out from October, but you can start kind of thinking about it and preparing now. So commercial over, I know that's long, not going to edit it out because it's just really important for me. And even if you don't want to take part in it, um, if you go to my Instagram and even if you just share the post about it, either the one on my Etsy shop page or on my on my Aaron Twibbles Around Aimlessly page and just spreading the word. It's all about creating awareness for what are really less frequently talked about um, illnesses uh, and a lot of times misunderstood. There's a lot of misconceptions that come with liver disease and mainly most people think that it's just, you know, due to drinking and that's not everything that is there. So not as fun and uplifting as, you know, the pirate booty challenge, but Still important nonetheless. So um, I didn't keep track of what days because you know me by now, I don't keep track of days. My September savings challenge is Hello Spring and that is $50 per week. So last week and then this week is 100 schmackaroos going in there. And so that takes care of week two and week three. 
And then my 13 week challenge, I am just doing $10 per week. And this will take me through the entire season. So $10 and $10. So 10 and 20 is going into that 13 week challenge. So this one will carry over into October as well. So some of them will end. And this was just where I had my money that I was going to put things in. So that takes care of, um, yeah, stuffing my savings challenge binder. Thank you very much to everybody who has um, has made any purchase of any of my savings challenge items or really just any of my items on my Etsy. Etsy. Seriously, I hit 200, I think I hit my 200th sale today and I am just, I'm gobsmacked. Um, to be perfectly honest, it has been just like a, a really steep learning curve because I did not think that that was going to happen. But um, all of that is going to result in me being able, I think, to make some really good changes and put some money to some really important things that I am extremely, extremely passionate about. So if you have anything in terms of um, maybe not as frequently talked about unknown underrepresented um, illnesses that you would like me to bring attention to by all means leave that in comments or uh, dm me on instagram on my main account at aaron twibbles around aimlessly and i will by all means bring that up i hope that everything is going well with you in your budgeting um september is coming to an end we're m we're more than halfway through and we're heading into the final quarter as well. So this is where we all really can, you know, take some time, dig deep, and and make that final push for that. If you enjoyed this video, then do please give it a like. I like to say boop the like button because it makes me think of my dog when I always want to boop the snoot. Um, that's just where I touch his nose, but anything like that. If you want to follow along and see how we go, with you know with me with my debt free journey but then also how this awareness campaign goes as well by all means do subscribe would absolutely love to have you as part of the journey and uh yeah any comments that you have drop them down below do please take part in this challenge uh it's, like i said it's really important to me and even if you don't want to take part there's my dog saying wrap it up um pass it on and share it with other people that you know because they might want to even if you do not so as always, do remember to choose kindness, show gratitude, always keep a positive mindset. I will see you in the next video.